Qualcomm finally launched their flagship SoC for the year 2021, that's the Snapdragon 888 chip. And yes, this chip is quite a bit of improvement when we compare it with like previous generation processors. And I have already compared this chip with some of the current existing processors from Samsung, also from Apple. And yes, today I'm back with another comparison video where I'll be comparing the Snapdragon 888 with that of Huawei High Silicon Kirin 9000 processor. Hey guys, all about technology 24 into 7 here. If you like what you're watching, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel. Also like this video if you did. Let's now get started. So let me directly jump into the comparison. So starting off with the CPU comparison and as you can see the architecture of Snapdragon 888 there are three clusters in this processor. First cluster consists of one Cortex X1 core. This is the latest Cortex technology and all of these are based on Cryo 680 and this is clocked at 2.84 gigahertz. This is the prime one. The second cluster consists of three Cryo 680 cores. That's the Cortex A78 clocked at 2.4 gigahertz. The third cluster consists of four Cortex A55 cores clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. So talking about the architecture of Kiran 9000 processor, even here we have got three clusters. The first cluster consists of one Cortex A77 core clocked at 3.13 GHz. Second cluster consists of three Cortex A77 cores clocked at 2.54 GHz. Third cluster consists of four Cortex A55 cores clocked at 2.05 GHz and definitely the clock speed is a little bit higher on the Kirin 9000 processor but definitely the technology is much more better on the Snapdragon 888 processor and even the X1 technology from Cortex is pretty improved when we compare it with previous generations. So definitely better performance in the Snapdragon 888 processor. Both are 8 core CPUs and talking about the FinFit process. Both of these processors are built on 5 nanometer FinFit process. That's pretty good. Next up, we have got graphics. So talking about the graphics on the Snapdragon 888 processor, we have got the latest Adreno 660 GPU and this is said to be 30% better than the previous generation Adreno graphics and this is like so much optimized the elite gaming engine and stuff is optimized on the latest Snapdragon chip. So talking about the graphics on the Kirin 9000, we have got the Mali G78 MP24 GPU. So this is said to be a 24 core GPU and the architecture is Valhal 2 again. But the clock frequency is higher on the Snapdragon when compared to this GPU. So talking about which will give you better gaming performance, definitely it's gonna be the Snapdragon 888 guys. This will give you much more gaming performance when we compare it with the Kirin 9000 processor, that's for sure. So moving towards the multimedia, that's the ISP and stuff. The neural processor unit on the Snapdragon is the Hexagon 780 and talking about the neural processor unit on the Kiran 9000, we have got the AI accelerator here. The storage type on both of these is the UFS 3.1 and video recording is where there is a major improvement with the Snapdragon processor. You can record 8K videos but you cannot record 8K on the Kiran processor and you can record 4K at 120fps on the Snapdragon but you can just record 4K 60fps on the Kiran 9000 series. As you can see the video playback is also at 8K but that's not the case with the Kiran. It's at 4K 60fps. Other video codecs and audio codecs are on display. You can pause the screen and have a look at those. Definitely video capture capabilities and playback capabilities are much more better on the Snapdragon processor when we compare it with the Kiran 9000. So talking about the connectivity, both of these processors are 5G capable but the difference is that the Snapdragon processor is using the X60 modem from Snapdragon whereas the Kirin processor is using Belong 5000. These are two different modems but still you should get better 5G connectivity with the latest Snapdragon chip because of that massive improvement what Snapdragon has done with their processors and while using 5G on the Snapdragon 888 the battery life also should not be that bad because previous generations battery life was not that good with 5G but with the Snapdragon 888 battery life should also be pretty good even if you are using 5G because even the 5G modem is based on 5 nanometers that's pretty good and both of these processors supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 as you can see that's pretty good.
So talking about which processor is better, definitely guys the Snapdragon 888 chip is better when we compare it with the Kirin 9000 that's for sure and it is better in like so many ways I can say performance, graphics, also camera capabilities all are better on the Snapdragon chip when compared to the Kirin 9000. So this was a quick little video comparing the Snapdragon 888 processor with that of Kirin 9000. So that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it. Please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram, link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display. This is all about technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.